Biggie was the odd man out. No one wanted him. Are you a good boy? Hi, I'm Scott, and this is Biggie's story for GeoBeats. Come on! Biggie came unexpectedly. I lost my last shepherd, and I was kind of depressed. I just decided to go on a drive. That's how I clear my thoughts. I was driving through a little farm town in Idaho called Payette, just country roads, and I saw a sign that said German Shepherd Puppies. I needed some puppy love. Are you a pretty good boy? Are you a good boy though? I had no intentions of getting one. Biggie was the odd man out. I fell in love pretty much instantly. We had a hernia. I just was like, I don't care, I'll figure this out. I picked him up and the rest was history. I've never had a bond with a dog like this before. I want to give him the best life that I can. This goof, this goof. He's an intense goofball, that's kind of how I'd put it. The mountains is where he's happiest. I took him snowboarding last spring. I've never seen a happier dog. I was probably going 20 miles an hour. And he just right behind me, just loving it. For the first time he was on a trail, uh, he did great. He sees my grandpa, so he's barking. <laughs> he ended up being just a fantastic swimmer and take him in those really clear alpine lakes. I like to give him new experiences so he can smell new smells and see new sights and just be a dog. He just kind of frolics like a deer in the long grass. I love it. Good boy. If we're out in the middle of nowhere, I just let him run free. His ears are always trying to hear different noises, and he always has one ear pointed back towards me, trying to listen to any commands that I have. He always carries a ball around like a little pacifier. If you give your dog the best life you can, in turn, you have the best life that you can have as well. And having a dog helps with my depression. It gives me a will to get out there and see things and do things. He's definitely a challenge. I have to exercise him two hours minimum a day just to keep his energy levels manageable. Biggie. The bond that we have in just the year and three months that I've had him has just, you can't put it into words. I just feel like I can go out and do anything as long as he's with me. <laughs> I recently almost lost him a couple weeks ago. He was in ICU for three nights. I sleep next to him every night. When he wasn't with me, I'd turn and look on my bed and be like, oh wait, yeah, he's in the hospital still. And now that I have him back and he's pretty much back to full health, I just smile every time I look at him. I don't take a single moment for granted. Dogs live in the moment. They don't think about the future. They don't worry about the past. I want to make sure his present is the best that I can give. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy?